Stella. I was at art college before, I finished art college, I was taking a bit of a summer break, you know, after my degree show and everything. And a friend of a friend was working at British Vogue and they were looking for people for, for a shoot with Stephen Mizell, who was coming over. He didn't want to work with, with people who were like, not, I mean, models, he wanted to work with normal people. So I'm not really a normal person anymore, but I was then. So I did the shoot and then I did um, Versace advertising with him after that. And I just thought, well, you know, I don't know what is, you know, what is the possibility of it. I don't know what could happen, but I might take it and see where it goes. And I did, and this is kind of where I ended up. I don't think of myself as kind of a classic beauty, like, well, I don't know, like Karen Mulder or something. I mean, I'm not, it's not what I look like at all. It's kind of the opposite end. <laughs> well, I go through phases, you know, sometimes you wake up in the morning and you want to look completely weird, and then sometimes you just want to look very normal. I want to be comfortable. It's pretty weird, you get used to it very quickly though. And also you don't think that everybody sees those magazines, you know? You think that you're going to, you know, super snaps to pick up your photographs. You know what I mean? Because yeah. you were just there in a studio with a bunch of people doing a job. And it doesn't sink in that a lot of people see those images. Every time it's a bit of a surprise. At the beginning it's more difficult to recognise yourself and after a while you become accustomed to how you change. My most favourite moment? I have no idea. <laughs> I mean there are some shows which I really enjoy. Well in Paris I had a lot of fun at the Galliano show. I mean I always get really nervous before that show. It's the only show that really makes me sort of get butterflies. But um, I was well disguised and I liked what I was set up as. It's great working with Carl. You know, he's such an intelligent guy. He's got so much energy, the amount of stuff that he does. And he's so knowledgeable about so many things. I mean, I love doing the shows, but when you're doing the shows in Milan and then in Paris, and, and I like to go to London as well, and then New York, so you, it's quite gruelling work. My style is just what I like. You get a bit picky about things. You recognise quality when you see it, especially after doing couture shows, you know, when you see how beautifully clothes can be made. We'll see what happens. You know, this is what's happening for the moment, and it's great.